Obviously all of you guys know, and if you don't know, the M2 is currently off getting a PPF wrap down in London, and that's essentially what my Mini has had done to it. As you can see, the water is beading on the car. Now that's not the point of the wrap whatsoever. The point is to protect the paint. There's actually a, a thin <laughs> layer of plastic on top of the metal. You can see a little bit of it just there. Now, you guys know I'm gonna be without the M2 for about four weeks, and I'm currently about a week and a half into that period. Because the M2 is such a, well, awesomely designed car, getting the wrap around all of the parts, like the front bumper on the M2, is really, really difficult. So that is why, guys, I'm in the Mini. That is why I'm washing the Mini. And I also want to say that this, this Mini, the John Cooper Works, is the best hot hatch with character that you can buy. This is so much more better than the M2. Okay, let's play a game. Name a hot hatch that can do 0 to 60 in under 5 seconds. Yeah, this has been tuned, so... Uh, that physically has more character and more presence than this car. Of course, guys, it's all personal preference. But guys, with that being said, let me know in the comments. Welcome to the vlog. Sweet then guys, I hope all of you enjoyed those little drone shots of the car. It's been ages since I've taken out Ronda. I don't know why it's been so long, to be honest. It just has. I haven't flown a drone in ages. And Ronda, you're still kicking and chilling. But guys, I feel like I just need to clear the air a little bit because I've done a few videos recently in this past week in this room. One video where we were taking things out of this room, putting them in my car and taking them around to the new house. Another one where we sort of tidied this room and sort of did like a finale type thing saying there's not much in here anymore. And then there was also a video on my computer virus which was, well, it's caused me lots of pain recently. Mental pain. I've been stressing out. Everything's fine now though. Other than the one thing that you guys pick up on every single time. Alex, what's that? You know, you know what, okay, I I'm sorry. I let it slip. I, I let it slip. Let's sort it. Hey. And guys, there we go. So the main problem with it was, I took my kefs, which were my absolutely huge, awesome, massive white speakers that I had at this desk, round to the new house for the kitchen, which left me with no sound for this computer. Now, left over, I had this Logitech Z5500 surround sound system, and uh, yeah, this thing blows my mind every time I listen to it. The subwoofer is massive. And I've just got a couple of speakers behind the monitors. Now, they're not pointing at me, but they still sound insane. So you click on level, and then you turn the subwoofer to full. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> So guys, this is genuinely hilarious. I don't know if you guys will find this hilarious or even have any connection to this whatsoever, but I've just arrived at the new house and this has come through the post, but this is literally my competition. It says faster broadband is in your area now. That letter is from a different company in my town selling wireless broadband. As you can see, there is a big demand for the wireless broadband in my hometown because, well, around where I am, we're in the middle of absolutely nowhere. The, the town that I am, no, we are surrounded by essentially fields. The broadband is terrible. So this company that dropped this through my post box at some point today clearly didn't look up and see the absolute massive dishes on the roof of my house and clearly know that they're not theirs and they're, well, they're mine. <laughs> I just thought that was really, really funny. Right, I'm in the lounge. We're gonna overhaul this room. <laughs> So guys, I was having a little bit of a think earlier 
about what we could do with all of this Philip Hue stuff that we sort of adopted from my room yesterday when we brought it round to this place. And I thought, well, I'm probably going to put this stuff in the office, i.e. in this room when this room is finished. But at the moment, this room is sort of the last room that I've got on my mind. Um, so I had the quote back from the desk that I wanted in this room and the quote is the very reason that I haven't gone ahead and said yes, I want the desk because it was a lot of money, that much money, I don't even feel like I want to share the amount with you guys. It was literally that much money, literally it was that much money, I don't even think we should talk about it. <laughs> I literally don't. And that's not because I'm getting the desk and I don't want you guys to know how much I'm spending on it. It's because, well, I'm not getting the desk full, full stop anytime soon. Simply, it is too much money. It is far too much money. Far, far too much money. Hey, take a guess down below in the comments at how much you think the custom desk was. But guys, what I thought we could do this evening before we go ahead and, well, properly make this cinema room, God, there's a heck of a lot of things we're gonna be doing, making a cinema room, making an awesome office. I thought what we'd do is sort of make a little bit of a, a makeshift cinema room in here with some, well, with some cool lights. You guys know we have the absolute Goliath of a TV, the 85 inch monster from Samsung. Now I need to clear this room out, I've got my boosted boards and stuff are on charge in here. So the main reason I haven't really been using this room as much as I would like to is because yes we've got this awesome TV but the problem is we don't have the sound quality to match the awesome TV and we also don't have the lighting to match the awesome TV. And all of that is about to change in the most makeshift way Possible. Guys, let's build the ultimate makeshift cinema room. called lounge now so if I simply just move this little toggle around as you can see it changes the entire room's color which is absolutely awesome and then behind the TV there's a separate LED strip which you guys can see changing there that looks wicked and then obviously you can go ahead turn the brightness down of the whole room we've got the KLK 2.1 set up there we've got the left and the right and then the 10 inch subwoofer down there absolutely shaking the room Unfortunately, it's not obviously a 5.1 or even an Atmos setup in here. We will be doing that when we turn this into the proper cinema room and get the TV mounted up there on the wall. But for now, this is sick. Guys, this is a vibe. Essentially, I'm just a rather, rather large kid, aren't I? I'm just literally a kid. <laughs> All this though guys leaves us to do now is find a place to put the electric skateboards. I was thinking making some sort of mount inside of here to have them, I don't know, maybe on the wall in there. There's some sockets so it could be on charge. I thought that was a sick idea guys, but you, well, you let me know what you think we should do. With that being said guys, I'm gonna go into the newly made cinema room and go ahead and finish off watching a couple of YouTube videos that I started watching earlier and then I'm gonna hit the hay, get up tomorrow and record a fresh vlog for you guys. Do so you know what that means guys? For now, my name's been Alex, you guys have been awesome. Guys, stay awesome, keep smiling. Hope all of you guys are okay and I shall see you tomorrow. Guys, adios. <laughs>